in the Patriot League as the Loyola Greyhounds welcome the Navy midshipmen to Ridley. It's a top 20 battle. It's going to set up for what should be a very interesting one. Loyola will be in the whites. Navy, of course, in the Navy. Jesse, there's a look at Lauren Spence, who's a starting goaltender for Loyola, who, I'll tell you what, stepped in when this team needed her, has continued to rip it up, starting her eighth game this season, and will be going against a Navy offense that knows how to score. It's another ranked matchup for this Loyola team today. Ruby, and a big chase for it as Latch heads over to the corner. It's a good look for Morgan Lewis of Navy, and quickly intercepted by Felicia Giglio. The starting goaltender is out it goes. Dating and hedging. Latch dumps it down for Ruby. Still 40 seconds to shoot for Loyola. There was the look for Kielmeyer. The race is on and right. You know, the righties will come off that, that opposite elbow with C cuts, but she's always a threat with her shot. Crazy shot, too, as she side armed it towards Spence and she deflects it away. This year, okay. a very good opponent, monsoonish weather for that game, too. Probably had a big effect on the game. I mean, weather we know really affects the stick and your traction and if you're not playing uh, at home especially it can be difficult so one of them but then the other two are still a threat Loyola are still perfect on the draw four and oh four to one today beg your pardon there's the bouncer and a quick swipe by Giglio just at the doorstep again amazing save Amazing save. I mean, uh, she was wide open for the shot. Even fake, took her time, did all the things that you're supposed to do. And is, she still came up with the save. Five. Now the run into it for DiCarlo. Kept in a straight jacket. Messines will receive it at 33. Splits to the left. Foot saved by Spence. See Olmstead get a piece to it. How about... There were already a lot of glimpses year one out of Chase Boyle. You step in last year, was already a big contributor, and this year is basically the star of the show, one of the stars of the show. Missed free position. Lauren Spence helped keep that away as she meanders back into her safety zone. A save's a save. Doesn't matter how you do it. She's getting these her feet down and making some big saves. Wow, so after what was a nervy tweak for a moment. She's walking that off. The, the last draw was pretty interesting. You had... Uh, Loyola pushing, Navy pulling. Patriot League is just finding that competition. They get it out of conference. They play a great out of conference schedule, but when you go months and months without playing a competitive game, it makes a big difference when you, when you get that first possession. A chance now for Williams. This is a youngster who's turned some heads, but right into the waiting net of Lauren Spence. Space call because you weren't looking at the ball carrier. She ran across the face of the goal. Yes, she was in, in the face of the goal, but she wasn't looking at the ball. So back in the day, you could get away with that shooting space. Uh, it's just a miscue. She was guarding the girl behind and, and had to get to the other side. Bench will erupt if she scores here, and she can't quite do so. Does get a shot on target, Jacqueline Johns. The face. Saw cutter and run key, decides to go back to the point. Whipped it! Oh, Boyle almost had another one of them. Waiting for it was Richard out. Oh no. That's so tough. I mean, amazing save. And you can tell she's she has tons of confidence. I mean, she's just <laughs> flinging the ball out there, but uh, it's tough to make such a great save. I mean, that would have been a ESPN, you know, top 10 shot and she didn't let him have it which is great but then to throw the ball away super active i mean all over the place which is great see her communicating it's awesome to see and you know she's seen loyola before she has at least somewhat of an understanding of what they bring to the table of course giglio does too but it's her first ever game against loyola there's another stop as richard l went down how awesome is that yeah, she already has put together a couple of big saves for these mids. Go in the third. Sprinting on is to Carlo. Pivots a little bit, takes her shot, clanks off the post. And falling into the path. 13 to 6. Nine to go in this third. Pleasure to have you with us here tonight. Gabby Stapleton has shown, and there's another Richard L save. Amazing save, drops to your knees and just finds the ball, gets the stick high. What Loyola really needs. 
if you've noticed, the action of their offense goes towards the right. There's a lot of right-handed players on most teams, but the ball goes to the left. So the action of the defense is moving to the right, and then they have to backtrack. It's really hard to do. Well, there was a look from Boyle. It seemed as if Richardell maybe altered it a little bit, hit off the crossbar, and a second chance that Richardell was able to intercept. He had to send two. They switched the balls to the opposite side of the field. It went all the way behind, and then it came back. It's really hard for a defense to, to really rotate that much to, to cover everybody. And Black is denied. Richard L. just not allowing anything right now. Like, actually, she hasn't allowed anything. Yeah, she, <laughs> she is doing as well as she could do. This is a perfect game for her. Take another look. Wow. Just playing. You're not hot. I'm sure you're... You're barely sweating. Another save for Richard L. This is this is the game that Navy just deputied the ball. One of the stories of this third quarter was the new goalie Emma Richard L, the junior from Bethesda, Maryland. And Jesse, she's made some extremely good shots, and it's allowed Navy to peek their head back into this game. She's done a great job. She's making difficult saves, not even the easy saves that are, uh, you know, goalies make all the time. She's making incredible saves on amazing shots, and I think she gave them a spark. And her, she's a real big reason why they're where they are now, where the game just isn't completely out of control. And that's just it. Loyola, we're still getting the same shots they were getting earlier. She was just playing as acrobatic as possible. Richard L. As Coach Timschel had mentioned to us yesterday, you know, it was Emma who, who took this team through last year and knows and has seen that she is still good and there was still always an option for her to do something. And this just happened to be one of those opportunities. Didn't start the game, but this game called for her and she's turned to make it her own time uh, but when you get your opportunity it's awesome to make the most of it black with two Richard L saves it's only one option for number 11 for Loyola there's that deputy yeah <laughs> amazing he multiple opportunities at at the ball with turnovers or you know sh shots that don't go in you're just giving them more and more opportunities to score and they're a desperate team right the head uh, that's going to be an automatic yellow. That's a great catch up at the top for DiCarlo. Spence stood her ground and back into the safety zone. That's a, just a very quick one. Six and a half to go. 20 seconds on this shot clock. There's a decent chance in the center. Stapleton denied. But because there was a save by Richard L., the offense will recycle this and go again. Minute 40 to go. Still have the extra player, Navy. For another five seconds. Here's another opportunity. How about Bustard with the save? 90 seconds to go. Certainly Loyola home and dry now. To see. A whistle as the shot goes off. Two seconds. And that will do it tonight. Loyola with a 17 to 12 win against Navy, the eight team in the nation against the number 18 team in the nation. There was a little pause there before they completely called it, and there it is.